There are a lot of categories on Steam. If you hover over the game's drop down menu in the store, you can see a few of the different tags that are on Steam, or you can click see popular tag. This is the list of all of the tags on Steam, and in the past I have picked a random category and downloaded some of the games from it to see the quality of those games. Today I thought I would pick a category and find the most ridiculous games that I could and play them in hopes that I won't get totally shafted like I do with all of the random Steam key videos. <coughs> now right off the bat, there's genre of simulation is a pretty wide category. There are a lot of different kinds of games in here. You have things like Dirt Rally, which is a racing game, all the way to Stardew Valley, which is a farming game. Even NBA falls in the simulation category. But I'm not looking for AAA titles. If you guys know me at all, you should know that I am not about that at all. I'm about finding games like Fish Duel. This one is sure to get your friends hooked. I sure don't believe it. After looking through the simulation games for a little bit, I stumbled across this one. It's called Dare Course, and it looks like a Walmart version of Wipeout. Speaking of Wipeout, I'm gonna slip on into the sponsored segment of this video. Elu is a very simple site to use. You sign in with your Google account, you turn off your VPN, or they straight gonna ban your ass, and then you get to making that money. Now, the way that Elu works is you watch ads or you complete surveys, and it rewards you with credits that you can withdraw to actual sites. You want some crypto? They got crypto. You want some PayPal? Cash it right out to PayPal. It doesn't even matter. If for some reason you want an Apple iTunes gift card, you can do that too. It doesn't even matter. Elu's got it all. Also, from what I hear, because they sent me this picture say so rewards is the best way to earn money on the site right now i don't know exactly how that is but all you got to do is slap it on do some surveys i'm a female and then there you go you complete the survey and you got a bajillion credits it's wonderful in all actuality guys elu is a site that i have worked with before i actually use their service and sometimes when i'm editing videos i just slap on some ads the best part about watching ads with elu is that you don't actually have to watch them like no one can force you to sit there and see these ads so i usually just throw them to the side and i go back to my normal browsing activity and I have to tell you guys, it works really, really well. Anyways, guys, so I will leave a link in the description to eloot.gg. If you guys want to check it out, I'd really appreciate it if you would. It's literally free money, so you're dumb if you don't try it out. Like, you, you get free money for using the site. That's like if someone walked up to you in the street with a $100 bill, and they were like, hey, here's $100, and you said no. Like, that, that's how dumb it is. Like, it's a free $100. Just go get your free $100. Get, click the site and make some money, boy. Anyways, I think that about covers it. Click the link in the description below. I will see you on the site. And thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I think I'm gonna download this right now. It's, I'm really interested to see how long this game is gonna keep me entertained. All right, we got Dare Course. Why does my player model look like he's from Paperboy from the Nintendo 64? Like, this dude is blocky as hell. Look at this dude. Let's just hop right into this. Let's just send it. It looks like it's a level based game right off the bat honestly with the way that this game's level system works it, it does feel kind of reminiscent of a mobile game and anyone who knows me knows that i ain't about to pay for no goddamn mobile game so to me this kind of already feels like it was a waste of money i think that for a game that i'm gonna sink my time into i need a strong differentiating factor between something i would play while i'm taking a dump and something that i would play on my pc to have a good time but i'm gonna tell you right now when your boy takes a dump it's almost never a good time so I, i'm gonna tell you straight up right now this game really isn't feeling like it's for me with my personal feelings aside the game is made to kind of be like a clone of Wipeout, which was a popular game for the Xbox back in the day. But honestly, I never really enjoyed that game either. So, you know, it, it... you run through obstacle courses in this game. And to be completely honest with you guys, I got bored after the second level. The only reason I'm still playing this is because I need content. So I honestly think that if this game had like a touchscreen analog stick, I would play it while I was taking a dump. But this really isn't something that I'm going to sit down and enjoy while I'm on the computer. I'd rather play fucking Fortnite, honestly. And that game ain't too good either. Whew. The next game that I found is called Scram, and this game is actually free to play, but as you can see just by this one stock photo, really quick, just screenshot from the game, it, it's a pretty edgy game. This game actually just came out like a week ago too, so I'm, I'm interested to see like what's doing here. The description is, be a peasant to shoot guns and ride a choppa, or be a mutant to rape peasants. I don't, I guess there's two teams, one is peasants and one is rapists, but it just looks like it's a first person shooter kind of game. I don't know, let's just play it. Why does my guy look like a fucking penis? Oh, Oh my god, I have a penis shaped character and there's pizza butt boxes near me. This is this is my kind of game. Honestly, these kind of games attract the best kind of players. Look at these server names. Bitch, Tate Gay, Kill Nibbas, Join for Meat, Only Big Penis is in. Obviously that's the one we're gonna go with. I don't know who's friendly and who's not, but I I what? 
I, I don't know what's going on in this game. Every time I spawn in, I just get killed. I don't, where do I get a gun? Is this where I get a gun? Where the fuck? You are a mute. Oh, oh, I get it. Oh, this is like infected from Call of Duty, but you can choose to be a Nazi, a Catholic, or a Jihadi, bro. I got it. This game doesn't make any fucking sense. Come on, there's, a, there's an Uzi right here. Let me, let me pick it up. How do I pick it up? Okay, so bear with me here. I really, really, really tried to enjoy this game like I did. Like looking at the screenshots and seeing the gameplay of this game, it looked like something that I would really, really enjoy. However, once I actually like got into the game, it took almost no time at all for me to get really, really pissed off with how this game works. So the game has that sort of weird construction paper, like cardboard aesthetic like South Park does. It seems to me like it was a very intentional rip of uh, the South Park art style because they have a sign in the middle that says North Park and it shows all the South Park characters, but they're like super, super dark skinned. I don't, shit makes about as much sense as pizza butt. But this game is honestly really aggravating. The game functions similarly to Infected in Call of Duty, uh, and I actually liked Infected, but I really don't like this fucking game. The controls are really sloppy, so it's really hard to actually hit anybody. And each kill that you get rewards you with money that you can use to buy guns in between rounds. However, from what I found with using the guns, it's nearly impossible to actually kill any of the zombie people. Everything moves so quickly and so loosely that it's very very hard to actually like pinpoint anybody And also some of these dudes have weird abilities that let them turn invisible and explode So the, the game is just not good. Also, there's no reloading. You only have one magazine So you need to go and find an ammo crate somewhere Hold down E on the ammo crate and hope that you don't get fucked in the ass while you're doing that This game is just really sloppily made another thing that I just realized that pisses me off when you take ammo from a crate, you gotta wait 10 seconds to do it again. So it doesn't matter who takes the ammo. See that jack off over there took the ammo, but now I gotta wait 10 seconds before I can take my own ammo. This is bullshit. This game sucks. I think probably the worst part about this game is that, you know, obviously you're enticed to try and reload because every other game in existence allows you that feature. If you hit R in this game, the reload button, you just fucking fart, dude. Like, that's it. This game is so fucking dumb. For a free-to-play game, this game isn't bad. It, it really pissed me off, but it's a good time waster. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm trying to get, like, Monkey in a Zoo Simulator. I'm trying to get, like, a game that's so mundane and stupid that, like, you can't help but play it. I'm talking, like, Goat Simulator, but without any of the good things that made Goat Simulator fun. So my idea for a game is that it's a live feed of a real-life monkey exhibit in a zoo, right? And everybody watches, and you can pay, like, 10 cents to give the monkey a treat, and it'll actually like give the monkey a treat or whatever so like over time the monkey will get used to the fact that he has to work for the things that he has and he'll really start performing honestly that would be one of the best games of the year the character development alone would be fucking fantastic this is something that i absolutely cannot pass up this game is called super seducer 2 okay this game is the whole reason that I decided to make this video today. This game is like an in real life telltale game, okay? This is how to pick up chicks, but it's it's like all like in real life with real cameras. You just, it's multiple choice. So this dude just filmed himself and his friends doing a bunch of weird shit. He has a raccoon in this picture. From what I hear from friends, this game is absolutely ridiculous. So I'm gonna pop it in real quick. We're gonna play, pop it in like it's a fucking Xbox 360. What am I saying? There are two reasons why I think this game is gonna be fantastic. One of them is this picture alone and the other one is the fact that even though Super Seducer 2 came out September 13th, 2018, there's already a Super Seducer 3 set for release in March of 2019. Like this game is, is a hit smash hit super cult following approximately five months until unlock kind of title. Let's get it going. We're gonna go to story mode and we are gonna start playing with the posh toddy versus the supermodel. I don't know what that means. The goal is a number, sex, or kill my enemies. I have to admit though, this game is kind of cinematic. Like I'm not even gonna lie, the filmmaking is pretty decent in this. Why is there a tank? I, I, was, I was praising, I was praising this game and then this tank rolled through. If, if this dude, if the main character of this game pops out of this tank and is like, hey guys, it's me. I'm gonna be really fucking annoyed. I might just uninstall this right now. I'm hungry, man. Let's go to the restaurant. This is what happened. I literally, what did I just okay. say? First of all, you're driving around a tank in some dirty ass landscape, okay? You don't wanna be wearing a white shirt, my guy. That's just, that's just wrong. Clearly he's not doing his own laundry or he would've thought it through. I'm just saying. Oh, I skipped the cutscene and now I'm just right into the game. How do I approach this fine red-hatted woman? Gaze into her eyes whilst beckoning with your fingers as if it's a penis. Let's do that. Hey, what's up, thick mommy? Come get this finger penis. Ooh. I'm like, bitch, I'm butt in my pants. Make you come over with one of my hands. I do not care. That's what I do. I don't give a fuck. I just want to screw. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> 
security? That was fucking dumb. <laughs> oh, I had no idea. Fuck you. Don't <laughs> how to approach her. You know, I got a good look at her face. Let's not approach her at all. Let's just eat a kumquat. Fuck her. Wait, he's still getting up? No, he's just gonna eat his kumquat. Results okay. forever so alone. Holy ending. shit, um, dog. How's your business going? This is going really well. I don't this care about this girl's really life, to be honest. What will you give Lila for her birthday? A fucking raccoon, dog. Obviously, it was great. in the screenshot. Um, Close your eyes, baby. And get ready for your surprise. All right. Mm. Okay. The surprise is I'm gonna put my finger through my pants and beckon to you like it's a penis. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right. Hey, you ready, Lilia? Open your so. eyes. Open your eyes, Lilia. Open. I'm giving her a raccoon for her birthday. It's a raccoon. Oh my god. God, he's scratching me. Oh. oh. Fuck, he scratched me up, but anyway. So, anyway, it's your raccoon. <laughs> it's my raccoon. Yeah, because your cat died. I don't think she likes my around. gift. Well, bitch, you have weird toes. My dude is out here straight scheming, okay. bro. The first task for your new secretary will be, I'm going with C or E here, okay? C is create a situation in order to surpetuously check out her ass. Surreptitiously, I don't. Create a situation in order to surreptitiously check out her ass. Or tell her you can't focus on work because you're thinking about fucking her. Let's sexually show her how to staple properly. <laughs> so we need to fix it, all right? Do you know what it is? No. You're stapling. Stapling. Yep. Come on, let's get this sorted. Come on. Okay, so it's all in the way you touch it. Have it a grip with your little finger here. Like that. Get your thumb in there. Yeah, that's it. Grip it. And then push down. Uh -huh. You got it? I'm fucking yes, unco I'm uncomfortable I right now. Uh, let me try. Okay. Yeah, yeah, try. Give me a hand. Okay. She's going to staple his hand. <laughs> So Super Seducer, as I said, is the ultimate shot shooting game of the century. Basically, you pick your choice, you shoot your shot, and you hope you get to go home with your thought. If you don't, it's okay. It's not a big deal uh, because it's just a simulation game. You know, that's the point of this game. I can't even, I'm like trying to voice this over. I'm trying to come up with this off the top, but like he's just, he's really into her ass right now. And that's fucking me up. With that, we're all F4ing. That is not okay. <laughs> I know I usually do four games in these videos, but this video was long enough, I feel like, on its own. So we're gonna call it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want me to keep this series going, let me know. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that I could make your day just a little bit better. Thank you for spending this few minutes with me, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.